It came up on uh, Yahoo Answers in a martial arts section, the idea of uh, what is a self-taught martial artist. I got to thinking, and I decided to just create this video with my two cents on it. And basically, my argument is that a lot of you think that you're self-taught martial artists, but you really aren't. You're not really self-taught because somebody showed you the basics at one point, even if you were only with them for a little while. And then from there, you thought you could do a better job. So you decided to go out and cross train over here, cross train over there, start looking at different media, different videos, you know, different books. And you learned that way and got the material out there without a formal instructor. So what you are is really a... Um, an independent practitioner, but you're not truly self-taught. You know, if you were really truly self-taught, then you'd be able to figure this stuff out without using somebody else's books or uh, using somebody else's videos. Going around and uh, sparring with other people so you can uh, practice your techniques on them. If you, you know, you're so self-taught, right? Why, why do you need to do that? You shouldn't need to spar with other people at any point in your training. You should be able to just figure it out all on your own. Or, you know, why don't you just go ahead and build your own, you know, build your own wooden dummies or mannequins and whatnot to practice on. If you need something that's anatomically correct, why do you need to actually interact with a real person if you can just do it on your own? Right? So, see, when it gets down to it, none of us are truly self-taught. The only thing you're born learning how to do in this world is exist. You don't even breathe on your own when you're born. The doctor has to hit you to get you to breathe. You don't know how to go to the bathroom when you're born. Your parents teach you that. You don't know how to walk. Your parents show you that. You don't know how to speak your language. Your parents and your family show you that. You don't know how to read. You don't know how to write. Somebody teaches you that. Those basic tools that you have are the things that are going to enable you to eventually learn a martial art. So what you can say is you don't have a formal teacher or you study on your own, but you're not really self-taught because nobody is when you think about it. You just don't have a formal instructor. And one reason why I, I caution people away from being self-taught, I look at it like this. There's going to be a point in your training anyway where you're going to be kicked out of the nest. You're either going to be kicked out of the nest like I was at one point where they say, hey, you know, and it's not necessarily something like I can't stand you, get away from me. It's like, hey, it's time for you to fly on your own now. You don't need to be under me anymore. You know, why don't you go start teaching? Because you need to, at, because you're at the point where you're going to start learning by teaching. That's going to happen to you if you're at the level where it's just like you, if it's a small group, it's not a real big organization. Or if you're in a big organization, I'm not going to call any names, but some of them, once you reach black belt, there's no handholding anymore. Once you reach black belt, you're going to have to figure out a way to get a mentor. It's in an organization to see if they'll start showing you what they know. You know, you're going to have to start networking and interacting with other black belts so you all can figure out how to do things. You know, and it's going to happen. Some, at some orgs, it happens at first degree. In some orgs, it happens, you know, at fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh degree. So it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're going to be at a point where, if you, where in order to progress on the journey, you have to take charge of your own training. But there's no reason for you to try to do that in the beginning when you don't really know anything and, you know, somebody can save you a lot of time by just showing you what to do. And since you have no frame of reference, you know, you could be learning something and learning it the incorrect way. So I understand you feel like you don't want to bow down to anybody. You feel like you don't want this person ruining, ruining your life or anything like that. But then all you have to do is just take your time and pick a teacher that you feel like you gel with, don't you? So my advice to you is this. 
if you want to be a self-taught martial artist, get a black belt or the, whatever the equivalent of that is in your discipline. Get that first. And then from that point, if you want to blaze your own trail, that's fine. Because at least when the time comes where you start feeling like you might want to share your own system, most people will be able to trust you and feel like you're competent because it shows that you had enough stick to discipline and people skills to be able to be competently trained by somebody else. Because after a while, on the one hand, while nobody's really self-taught, on the other hand, we're all still ultimately responsible for our own training and for where we allow ourselves and whom we allow ourselves to spend time with. Peace.